If you're new here, Alicia and I have spent the last two and a half years traveling all over the world. And despite the events of 2020, the breaking news, stay at home, that is the order tonight from four state governors. We have continued to travel through the global pandemic and have since visited 25 countries and counting. We're vaccinated, boosted, and have navigated any and all entry requirements you could imagine. So we have to get a PCR test or an antigen test. Get our health form filled out, vaccination card with us. You do need to stay at an approved hotel for that first and fifth night while you wait for the results. Including countless COVID tests. It's a tearjerker. Woo. Only 24 hours ago in Vietnam, we tested negative. But upon arrival to South Korea. Is this your first time visiting Korea? Yes, it oh, is. Let's go. Thank you. Korea. Hello. Yes, ma'am, hello, good afternoon, this is from the medical center. At the public health center, they just want to talk to your mom. What the? <sighs> this was not expected. Okay, finish, bye-bye. Thank you. Woo. COVID test result. Positive. Oh, we both got positive. Now we've been under quarantine awaiting test results in a country before, but this is the first time it's been a government mandated quarantine and it's for seven days. And we're going to show you exactly what it looks like here in South Korea. Hint, it wasn't easy. <laughs> we are not gonna be able to afford. Uh, we're getting typhoon warnings. What? All cannot be completed as dialed. There's a, a little bit of cabin fever starting to kick in. Is he done? <laughs> Oh, great. Perfect. I will. Thank you. Bye-bye. They have a good system here. <laughs> the hotel already knows everything. They know that we both tested positive, that the health offices have already been in contact with us, and that we need to send over a text message with our passports. So she said she'll take care of that for us. I just need to email her the passports. Okay. Where's my notebook? <laughs> Okay, we have a lot to research about what to do and what we do know is that we have a lot of reservations over this next week that we now need to cancel. And unfortunately, a couple of them are within the 24 hour window, so it makes it a little bit more difficult. But we have travel insurance, which is very important and hopefully it comes in very handy right now. I just got onto our travel insurance website, which is Safety Wing. We pay $42 per person per month for all kinds of travel and health coverage. And one of them includes COVID-19 quarantine coverage. So I'm gonna read what it says and hopefully we fall into the right category. You are covered the emergency quarantine indemnity COVID-19 benefit for each day you are quarantined. You are not covered unless you fulfill the following conditions. You have a minimum of 28 days of coverage check. The quarantine is mandated by a physician or governmental authority due to having been tested positive for COVID-19 or you are symptomatic and waiting on diagnostic test results. Check. Three, you have not previously claimed under this benefit within a 364 day period. Check. And four, you are outside your home country while in quarantine. Check. I think that means we're covered. It sounds like we're covered. It doesn't say like what is though. Oh, here we go. $50 a day for up to 10 days not subject to deductible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I think we're covered. And since we both have insurance and we both tested positive and we both have to quarantine per South Korea's government regulations, I think we should be able to get some assistance with this, which we need because South Korea is pretty expensive. I got an email from the hotel saying the guidelines of quarantining at the hotel. Face-to-face -face housekeeping service will be omitted. Towels, sheets, and amenities will be provided upon your request. And all food deliveries from in-room dining will be provided in disposable containers and provide non-face-to-face -face service. Use a trolley and leave at the door for you to pick up. We just ordered our first meal. We got room service because that's the only option available to us. We asked if we can order outside food just because we're gonna be here for seven days. So we thought it'd be nice to have some variety in the food we're eating, but because we can't leave the room, they said that we have to order everything through them. And we get to watch baseball because we're in South Korea. So this is cool. <laughs> All right. A much more eventful day than we had planned. Very different than we had expected, but we're exhausted. We're gonna go to bed and start over tomorrow.
Good morning. It was not our best sleep last night, but it's just because we're stressed. We feel fine, which is the good news, but this is an entirely new situation to us, so we don't necessarily know where to start, but whenever we don't know where to start, we always make a list. So that's what we're gonna do to figure out what we do in the immediate future and then how the rest of this trip is going to look for us. tested positive for COVID. <laughs> Are you kidding? Yeah, so we're in a seven day quarantine in South Korea. What a pain in the ass. All right, I love you too. Love you too. Yourself. Thank you. And I will be looking forward to hearing from you tomorrow. All right, sounds good. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Just picking up our daily rations of water. <laughs> the good thing about Korea actually is you don't need filtered water, but they do provide water for you. Since we're here for an undetermined amount of time right now, we thought we'd give you a room tour because this hotel is amazing. This is our room. We got upgraded to the River View, which we'll show you in just a second. But first, let's check out the bathroom. This bathroom is enormous. And not only do we have a amazing, amazing shower with a rain head, we also have a bathtub. We have the amazing lit mirror, which I don't do makeup anymore, so it doesn't really affect me, but I feel like I look really good in it. Okay, there are two features in this bathroom that just blow my mind a little bit. The first is that, come on, D. <laughs> ah. The second is that there is this button on the wall that says magic glass. I first pressed it and didn't see anything happen. And then this morning, I saw what happened. A toilet is just a toilet. It's nice to have the wall. But since we're in South Korea, they have a very fancy bidet option. There's a lot of buttons and truthfully, I'm just scared to try it. I know people say they love it, but I'm scared. Back at the entrance. This is a giant closet, and I normally wouldn't show you, but this is seriously, it's like a walk-in closet, it's massive. All right, now for the bedroom area, we have a massive, super soft, king-size bed. If you guys know us at all, you know we love, love, love our Hilton beds. And it's always really nice coming into a new city or country and getting off a very long flight and coming to a Hilton bed. That's why we booked this place for the one night that we did. This wall of beauty is somewhat deceiving, but somewhat amazing. <laughs> Half of it is a mini bar, a very, very, very expensive mini bar. For example, this Glenlivet Glen is 50 milliliters and it's 28,000 won. Seriously. And the other half is free amenities, which includes our absolute favorite coffee machine, which is the Nespresso. It makes espresso and it is just like the best that you can get. It's so good. We also have a little cooler, which holds drinks from the mini bar and all of the waters that we keep ordering. There's this control panel in the room, which we, I don't think we've ever seen before in a Hilton hotel, so it's super fancy. Um, but we can turn on our do not disturb. We can turn on the lights, turn off the lights. The only weird thing is that you have to turn on all the lights at once or have them all off. There's no like, just one light or two or in between or anything. But we can also control the AC and the blinds. We also have a little living area in here, which includes this Chase lounge and a small desk. So perfect two areas for Nate and I to work. Okay, hey, last thing, I'm super excited to try this out. I didn't get a chance last night because I was just. <sighs> they have the Dyson hair dryer. I'm so excited for this. But here's the problem. We were only planning on staying here one night. It would be $1,400 for us USD to stay here for seven days. That is so far out of the budget, it's not even funny. Hello, I wanted to see if I could order some food to our room, please. Can I get the spicy chicken wings and french fries? And then the chicken quesadillas with french fries. A strawberry smoothie. And then we'll get a Coke Zero, please. Thank you. The hotel room itself is expensive, but the real kicker is the food. This meal for lunch is two snack dishes, a smoothie and a soda, and it cost us 91,000 won. 
Dinner last night cost us 82,000 for one meal aside, two drinks and a dessert. So <laughs> we are not gonna be able to afford eating this for three meals a day. That's like the biggest factor in us trying to figure out where to go next. Let's dig in. So far, the food is- It's good. Ooh, mm -hmm. It's good. My goal right now is to focus on where we're going to be staying. I need to look on Airbnb or booking.com, maybe Expedia to find some place closer to our budget. <sighs> it's just so expensive. Honestly, our budget normally for traveling is $45 a night for accommodations. But here, if we were to book a $45 Airbnb, it would be a very small room, likely with no windows and definitely no outdoor space and probably no kitchen. So I'm trying to find some place that has windows just because we have to be inside for seven days. And if we can get a kitchen, that would be great. Otherwise we're gonna be eating ramen or takeout the whole time. And that doesn't sound very fun. Okay, I found a place that has a kitchen. It actually has outdoor space too, which is really nice. But it says in the description, no self quarantine. So that is out of the question. Hey mom. What's going on? When we got to Korea yesterday, we both tested positive for COVID. Oh no. Yeah. So we feel fine. So we didn't finish anything on our to-do list today. I hate that feeling. I love the satisfaction of checking something off, but we started almost all of them and did a ton of research. But for now, we're going to eat our very expensive dinner and call it an early night. morning. I am a planner and I'm totally open for things to change. This is like really, really different than what I planned. We just had to cancel like our entire trip in order to like get a two week trip into one week now. And it's not very easy. So I'm just kind of overwhelmed. So last night, Nate and I were actually up until like three, still trying to figure everything out. We added a couple of things to the list. And we actually figured some out. So we figured out our quarantine stay and I've canceled all the reservations. We asked for late checkout, they said no. Usually it's not really a big deal, but it's full occupancy tonight. So they aren't able to accommodate us. So we have to pack up and get ready to go in the next hour. <laughs> I still don't know if this is like a breaking quarantine or what we're like supposed to do in this situation, but it is our only option as of now. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. We just got to a new place. Really pleased so far. It looks really nice, so we're gonna give you a quick room tour. Most important thing for us booking this hotel was that they had a kitchen. This kitchen is super tiny, but it has everything we need, including a washing machine, which looking on Airbnb, every single Airbnb had a washing machine in the kitchen, but we'll take it. We have a lot of laundry to do. There's also a small table for Nate to sit at and do his work and us to charge everything. We always like to have two spots to sit. This is a huge living room with tons of space. So we probably should like work out or do yoga or something because we have the space for it, but we'll see how that goes. And then we have a separate bedroom, which is nice because Nate usually gets up earlier than I do. And wow, the bed's actually pretty big. Oh, and soft. And lastly, the bathroom. Super nice, super modern, super clean, which I like. We just have to see how the water pressure and temperature is. Pretty good. How cool is that? We can see who is at our door if anybody were to knock. 
We also have this massive aircon, which cools this room in like less than three seconds. We also have big, big windows for lots of natural light, which is important if we're gonna be inside for a week. And they open. So we get fresh air, although it is a bit noisy because it's on a big street. But the best part, there's screens. We never have screens. I'm honestly so excited about that. I wish the window opened more. We are trying to get one big grocery haul for the next five days. This is our first time using the apps here in Korea and the one they recommended to us is entirely in Korean, but I think there are some with English as well, but they're just different apps. So they have quite a few here. <laughs> this is always encouraging when someone who is like an expat living here writes a blog post that says, shopping for groceries online in Korea takes time and can be an impossible task for many foreigners. Oh, awesome. <laughs> This is very difficult. <laughs> <laughs> Your posture says nothing about how difficult this was. One thing I'm noticing as we're starting to unpack is a lack of storage. We don't have any dressers or a closet or really anywhere to put our stuff. So it looks like for the next five days, we will be living out of our suitcases. For example, there's no nightstand on my side of the bed. We just have this safe slash nightstand combo. Of course, we're not gonna use the safe because we can't leave, but I'm hoping Alicia will share this space with me. Ordering food is very difficult. There are quite a few apps and websites. A lot of them require like an alien verification. It's honestly been really challenging to be in quarantine here. There's just not much instruction, I guess. There's just no mediator to help us get food or to help us get a SIM card or to help us do anything. We're just kind of on our own to figure this all out. And it's really odd. I don't know how else to explain it. Ugh, it's already 4 p.m. and I haven't eaten anything today. I think we got something. Shuttle is the app. And let me use my American phone number. I'm logged in and it has my location. Mm, yeah, I don't know if it's gonna work. Oh, 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 PayPal? English? I'm so nervous. Oh my gosh. Yes! It worked! Yay! We did it, you did it. I didn't do anything, thank you. Oh. Gosh, it feels good. Good job, when do we get them tomorrow? I have no idea. We don't know when they're coming. No idea when they're coming. Now that we have successfully ordered groceries, we're gonna try to order dinner. There's Pizza Hut app in Korean. Yes! This is the Pizza Hut that I cannot stop thinking about because it's like 4.30 and I literally have only had water and coffee today. I could really go for some Pizza Hut. Trying to order pizza and translate everything with the other phone. You can't even copy and paste without translating. <laughs> the pepperoni? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Okay, they have Pepsi Zero. <gasps> Pepsi Zero. Yeah. Like regular bottles? Yeah. For a dollar each. A dollar each? Yeah. A dollar each, that's not bad. I don't know that we can get Pizza Hut. And our grocery order still hasn't been picked up. We've been charged for it, but there's no driver apparently available. So it doesn't look promising that we're getting groceries tonight. <sighs> It's already 6.30, we haven't eaten all day. I've literally spent the last like five or six hours working on trying to get food, any kind of food, like literally anything for me to eat. And we can't do it. We just, I, this is the hardest it's ever done because we don't have a local phone number. We even got a SIM card, still can't figure it out. <sighs> So Nate's going across the street to go get food because we're starving. He's gonna be as safe as possible. And I'm super jealous because it's beautiful outside. But yeah. I'm just 
spying on him. Seinfeld, pizza. Oh, yeah, baby. Those look bombsies. The pizza's perfect. And a very welcome update. The next day grocery delivery emailed us, asked us to confirm the address, and we'll be delivering our groceries before 8 a.m. tomorrow. Look what came. That was so nice of them to deliver it. Yeah, that was really nice. Okay, time to open, unbox, and put away the groceries. Oh my gosh, we have pretzels. Ramen, real maple syrup, chocolate. This is an ice pack for 100% recyclable. Whoa. Obviously the eggs. Really nice grocery service. Really impressive actually. Oh, that's cool. I'm starting some laundry, but as with everything we've encountered. Every website's in Korean. The whole thing's in Korean. Most of them are in Korean. All the text on the washer is in Korean, so I'm gonna use my phone to see if I can translate this out. <laughs> One of the translations says, when it's stinky. <laughs> I think I'm gonna go with standard laundry, or do you feel we're more functional clothing? Okay. I seriously have no idea what we did before Google Translate. It literally saves our life every day, all year long. Having laundry in an Airbnb is an absolute game changer. They have a dryer on the second floor, but since we can't leave the room, we won't be using that, but they still put, well, let me, let me get it. They still put this drying rack in the room. Here we go. Okay, good to go. The one thing is that this wasn't actually enough to hold all of the laundry, even though we did just a small load. When you're in small spaces, pretty much everything turns into a drying rack, including chairs and hat racks. We are going to make some hard boiled eggs for the massive packages of ramen that we bought earlier today. And this is our first time testing this burner. And these things are really hit or miss in the Airbnbs we're at. The last one we were at was the best we've ever had. It boiled water in like two seconds. So we'll see what happens here. Wow. Ooh, wee. 
Oh, you have the eggs ready. The burner is roaring. So this thing took 30 to 60 seconds to heat up, so we're in good shape. Moment of truth. Perfect execution. How long do I do this for? Six minutes? Is it really? Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, I mean, I this would hope so. This is probably the best ramen we've bought, actually. It's been so nice to have our own food, so we are very, very glad that the groceries were delivered this morning. And it's been really high quality food so far, which is a big bonus. We made it to our United State of New York. I can't believe it's already day four. There's a, a little bit of cabin fever starting to kick in, but we're just gonna make the most of it and try to get as much work done as we can today, tomorrow, and until we can leave the hotel. Baby. What? Look at this. We're getting typhoon warnings. What? What does that mean? Uh, I don't really know. That doesn't look good. I think we're okay, because I played it through, and I don't think it like hits us, but like I think we could be affected by it. Oh my gosh, look at it. It goes right through Busan. That's where we were supposed to be. That's where we're supposed to be right now? Mm-hmm. Oh my gosh. Let's turn the news on. We've always maintained that things happen for a reason. And now we are sitting here in a quarantine, which we are trying to make sense of. And there's a typhoon rolling right through where we were supposed to be this week. But instead, I think we're in a much safer area in a mandated quarantine. This is insane. Okay, still looking for the news on the TV. There's a lot of K dramas and K. But I did find out it's called Typhoon Hinnomnor. Probably said that wrong though. And it's left the Philippine area and is heading north, northeast, about 15 kilometers per hour. I don't really have a reference if that's fast or not. But at its peak, Typhoon Hinnomnor was a super typhoon with sustained winds of 195 kilometers per hour. It's gone down a little bit and it currently has sustained winds of 150 kilometers per hour with gusts up to 175 kilometers per hour. That doesn't sound good. All right, it's around four o'clock now. The rain came and went and it's still really gloomy outside, but we just got two alerts on my phone. Obviously storm paths can change and this one's going so slow now. It's like two kilometers an hour, but it should hit South Korea on Monday or Tuesday, but that's the very South part. We're in the very North part of South Korea in Seoul. So we're just gonna keep an eye on it and I guess we'll be getting alerts on our phone. So we'll be in the know. We'll keep posting on Instagram, especially with this typhoon rolling through, so. Love you too. Bye, guys. Bye. Sunday calls with the fam. It's Sunday there, right? Yeah. So confusing sometimes. <laughs> Officially day seven of quarantine, and we spent the week trying to figure out what the heck we're gonna be doing in South Korea now. The typhoon has passed, and luckily no major rain or damage in Seoul, where we are, but where we were supposed to be in Busan, it was hit pretty hard and there was lots of flooding. We'll see what more damage is to come in the next couple of days. We're getting yet another beautiful sunset to round out this long week and our final evening of quarantine. We'll just put it. He took it out. <laughs> the 
the nerve champions. <laughs> is it this way? Yeah. Oh, the fresh air is so amazing. It's so great to be outside again. And one of the things that surprised us most with this entire experience is a lack is no test at the end. It's just seven days of quarantine and at midnight you're free. So that is exactly what we're doing right now. We are going out and seeing Seoul for the first time at midnight after seven days of being here. way more open than I thought. We we're trying to use Google Maps and Google Maps is not really like available here as it is normally. So there's like three options in our area, but there's way more options. <laughs> Just had to walk around, but we couldn't do that until right now. Okay, do you want to go to this little place or? Beer King. Look at those beers. It's got some frog foam on it. <laughs> not even. Cheers. Cheers. Made it. <laughs> That's the uh, independence day. Mm -hmm. So funny. Oh wow. That's yeah, so good. <laughs> Smiley face with potatoes like when you're a kid. So hot. That's hilarious. This is so fun. We both love Toy Story and there is a there's a version of Woody in here, and I'm gonna try to win. So what I read is you have to press the thing when you want it to go down, and then the thing again to pick it up. I don't think you push those. Yeah. Oh my gosh. <gasps> My legs in it. La 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 la. Bee boo bee boo bee boo. How's my voice test? Here we go. That didn't happen the first time. <laughs>